Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Rule Breakers 2 is here. Team 2 of the Rule Breakers promo is expected to be inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team today. As of right now, we don't have an official loading screen telling us that that is going to happen. That could be loaded in later today on Friday, or maybe we won't get one at all. But we're really confident that Rule Breakers Team 2 is coming today because of two different things. Number one, it's just how EA have been formulating these promos, right? We've had Team 1 in packs for seven days with ones to watch and Rule Breakers. And then Team 2 has been in packs for five days going out of packs on the Wednesday instead of a full seven days and on a Friday. So with how EA has been doing promos and also the leaks that we are seeing, basically the whole entire team, we like already know all the players that are supposed to be coming into the game today as rule breaker players. And we'll take a look at those cards here in just a second or those player names here in just a second. Uh, again, we always take leaks with a grain of salt, right? We put, you know, we don't put our full belief in those leaks because just like we saw yesterday on this game there was a lot of leaks and a lot of people saying that there's going to be a flashback in Mbappe SBC and we have no flashback in Mbappe SBC. I did really not think that it was coming if you watched yesterday's video I wasn't sold on it but there was a lot of market movements because because of that uh, and yesterday what we saw is a lot of panic selling and then you know nothing else really happened because then Mbappe did not get released. So again, we take these leaks with a grain of salt and we only slightly believe in them because we know that it could be wrong. And if you want to put, I guess what we call your tinfoil hat on here for a second, imagine how crazy it would be if we didn't get a rule breakers team too. And EA completely, you know, messed up what they have been doing before because of all these leaks. I mean, that would be crazy. It would be a boring Friday on FIFA, but for a leak side of things, it would be nuts because I'm not a huge fan of the leaks sometimes because it kills the surprise factor of knowing and seeing these cards ahead of time instead of seeing them at the content drop at 6 p.m. UK. But without further ado, let's look at the cards that we are expecting to get today inside of FIFA 22 as the Rule Breakers team too. Now, these are the names that are being thrown around by pretty credible sources, they say. Luis Suarez, Klosterman, Cornette, Kessie, Foden, Bamba, Davies, Kappa. Now, those are team two players that are expected to be in today. If you take a look at all these cards, absolutely, you know, tons of options here. Tons of options for stats that could get upgraded, right? You guys know how the rule breakers worked. If we take a look at a guy like Holland, right? Holland, from his gold card to this rule breakers, he got a plus 25 passing boost and got a slight reduction to his shooting with all of its other stats being upgraded. So if you look at this set of cards in here, Luis Suarez, right? Klosterman, Cornette, another Prem left back. Kessie could be an absolute monster of a card. Foden, who would be a center attacking mid, right? He would not be a left wing as his inform was. He'd be a center attacking mid card because with these rule breakers, we don't have any position changes. All we have are stat upgrades and those specific one stat big boosts on these cards, right? There's no position changes. I don't even think we have skill move or weak foot upgrades. It's a little bit early for that still. Um, but it's all about that one stat that gets exploded, right? From what it normally was. Bamba could be very good today. Davies, Kappa. One thing I'm very interested with these cards, if this is actually the team today, a lot of these guys in here are pacey, right? Bamba, Davies, Kappa, uh, and, and Klosterman for a center back. All those guys are really, really pacey on their base gold cards, especially Alfonso Davies. So what I'm hoping for today is that EA doesn't just drop the pace on all of those cards. Now, I'd be fine if they dropped Davies to like 93 pace, but then upgraded his physical to like, I don't know, 89 or 90 or something. That would be kind of crazy if they did something along those lines. I just hope that they give a lot of these cards legit, like, you know, nice boosts, right? Of course, we had the Verratti SBC that was released earlier this week. And instead of getting a pace boost, he got a physical boost, which makes, makes his card interesting, but also it makes his card look a lot less like meta and usable in this game for some people because he does not have that pace boost. So I think we're hoping for some really good boosts on some of these cards today. And it should be very, very interesting with these cards in packs. Now, this is the guy that was talking about the flashback and Mbappe. So we take these again with the grain of salt, but uh, we have got Sangare, uh, he's got Corona in this list, Machis, Lopez, and Kulusevsky. So this is his full Rule Breakers Team 2 leak. And he said one of these will be an objective and one will be an SBC 
Uh, Lopez, this would be like the first promo goalkeeper card that we would have this year, which I do think we need some promo goalkeeper cards, just not a ton of them. So it is nice to see maybe a goalkeeper get in there. I would be very curious to see what stat they would boost though, like speed or re reflex. I don't even know, but uh, that is supposedly the full rule breakers team number two and an SBC and uh, objective player that we would be seeing in the game today. So again, speaking of rule breakers team two, it's a normal promo Friday in the sense that of course we should get one SBC player and we should get one objective player. Now I believe there's some, a decent amount of these SBCs are expiring and Kunku is still here for one more day. But if we take a look at a few of these, I think there is one or two that are expiring. Um, maybe not actually. Fofana is still here for 16 days. The foot hero upgrade night fright. So I guess there's not much that is expiring in here um today on friday we'll probably be getting at least one new sbc there is another sbc that i'm expecting oh, alongside of a rule breakers player we'll talk about that in a little bit uh, a player of the month possibility for la liga but also we would get an objective card now we haven't had an objective card in here besides antonio and he actually goes away in 16 hours so um, in my opinion, we're going to get another one of these objective players. It'll be out until next Wednesday. And that's what I would expect for team two of the rule breakers. It would be out until this coming Wednesday, right? So it'd be again, a five day promo instead of a full seven days with a mini release coming on Sunday. They did that Saturday or Sunday. They did that with the rule breakers last week as well. So more again for today on Friday, let's go back to that SBC that I mentioned. We actually might have a player of the month SBC coming today on Friday. If you guys remember, we had the first player of the month SBC of the year, I believe. The first one that we had this year was the Benzema player of the month. La Liga seemed to start their voting and end their voting earlier than all the other leagues did uh, this past month for October. And the La Votación está cerrada, right? It is over. And today, a lot of people are expecting to see either the Alaba or Luis Suarez win this player of the month award. And of course, since you saw this, Luis Suarez was in as a team two player for the rule breakers promo. I feel like EA would not want to have two versions of his card around in the game at the same time. In my opinion today, David Alaba might win this player of the month. That's who it seems is the most popular card to win this award for the month of October. Uh, so we might have a David Alaba player of the month SBC today on Friday as well. And that could be interesting, right? Because Alaba has a really good card in game, very well-rounded center back. And usually a player of the month at his rating would get a plus two. So if Alaba gets a plus two, imagine this 86 um, wants to watch card becoming, an, uh, well, his wants to watch card wouldn't upgrade, but just imagine this card with a plus two boost on top of it. You know, we're talking 81 pace, 87 defense, 83 physical, 86 passing, 84, 85 dribbling. That's gonna be a really good looking card. And depending on the price of that SBC, if it's like 150K or less, maybe like 120,000 coins or less, I think you're going to have some people that would be very interested in doing that. So it is not guaranteed that this comes today, but I think it's very possible that you would see this SBC coming today. And that could, you know, move some prices around on this game. And of course, people would be very interested if that is a well-priced SBC people would be interested in getting that done because Real Madrid links. Of course, you got Vinicius, who's very hype in this game right now. You have a Casemiro special card that just came out. Real Madrid links are pretty hype in this game at the moment. So that would be a very popular SBC if it is priced well uh, today, if it does come out. Let's talk about the market though, right? Because we know promo packs are big on Fridays. Now, the second week of the Road to the Knockout promo was the first time that EA released the 50k pack now today we're expecting supply but if they release the 100,000 coin pack today however many of them there are 100,000 coin packs of course are double a 50k pack wow i have a preview pack oh let me get involved with this bro let's open our preview pack goodness i forgot to open this earlier uh earlier yesterday on thursday but of course nothing good but watch out for 100,000 coin pack today because if we do get 100k packs that would be that would mean extra dropping on the market with these cards being so supplied with 100k packs 50k packs destroyed the market two weeks ago when they came out it's probably going to happen again so if you have gold cards that are in your team today on friday specifically the cards that are going to be in packs i'm talking about maybe if you guys bought ferlin mendy for your team 
This guy has gone up about 10,000 coins in the past 24 hours. He was 67K. He's up to 12,000 coins now. 79,000 coins. This card has gone up. A lot of gold cards have risen up with these La Liga. Uh, hyped up links. I think Marcus Llorente uh, is 70,000 coins as well. That is up over 10,000 coins per card. I would sell these before the content drop today on Friday. I would sell them. Now, again, let's talk through our scenarios, right? Scenario number one, we get Rule Breakers promo as we're expected. Team number two, supply comes. These cards are going to drop in the first hour. You're going to see probably some pretty significant price drops and panic selling at the same time. But also, you're going to have some cards that people are going to want to buy back too. So for some of these gold cards that are high in demand, like a Marcus Urente is at the moment, like that Ferland Mendy, as we take a look at a couple other gold cards, we, we look at some other ones like Kimpembe, like Varan, Yunmin Sun, Usman Dembele is coming back into packs, so I would expect this card to drop off a decent amount. Uh, Marquinhos is out of packs as it didn't form. Hakimi with the PSG links, the Verratti SBC that is still out. Pogba, Bruno Fernandez, Teo Hernandez, you know, with the Cassie coming out today, these cards are most likely going to drop in price during that pack supply. So what I would do is take a look at them in that first hour to see when there's all that panic selling, all that listing, especially on the higher tier cards, like maybe a Mane, again, or the more popular ones like an Hakimi, like a Mendy, Kempembe, or Varan. Maybe you could sell, I think there's an opportunity again, as it normally is on Fridays, to sell some of those players before the supply, buy them back afterwards, and you will then find yourself losing less coins on the card that you sold for here and bought it as it dips lower onto the market. So that would be my number one thing to say today. Now, a couple other spots that are looking very interesting on this market today regarding the supply rule breakers. These cards are going out of packs. A lot of people invested in them today actually on sorry yesterday on thursday a lot of people invested i bought a holland with the panic selling and with the panic that we had yesterday on thursday for the big sbcs that were expected holland dropped down after rewards from 627k down to 530,000 coins i was able to snag one at 525 and i sold it at 600 i would look to see maybe a little bit of panic selling just a little bit I wouldn't expect there to be huge drops on these uh, rule breakers cards from Team One unless there's some, you know, big SBCs leaked or some big stuff going on. I would expect their prices to stay about the same, not move too much. But of course, after the new cards come out today and when these cards go out of packs, if nothing crazy happens, you might see them go up a little bit. Now, I know there's a lot of people that are investing in these. They're expecting their prices to rise. But if content today isn't anything spectacular, I don't think they will really drop. So in my opinion, you should see these cards rise up a little bit into today on Friday as people are playing their champions finals games. Uh, and of course, these cards go out of packs and people are maybe buying them last minute before they make that movement out of packs. So watch out for those. They're not gonna get supplied anymore. But team of the week number seven, is going to get supplied today. Guys like Carrasco, Marquinhos, Tavernier, Reese James, of course, Vinny Jr. Keep an eye on these. I almost guarantee you that there's going to be some selling on these informs heading into 6 p.m. UK today because, of course, people are going to be scared about that supply. People are going to sell this Vinicius inform. I would not be surprised if he is 550K or below uh, because, again, he went from 680 before rewards to 580 and then it's now slowly risen up just a little bit into the early Friday morning hours, but I would expect to see, especially Marquinhos and Vinicius, to drop off a decent a bit in price. Your Reese James, this is gonna be a good card to trade with today, right? I know he's in packs, but it's kind of a budget right back option. People are probably tired of using Kyle Walker, Cancelo, Aaron Juan Bissaka, they wanna upgrade. This has a dynamic image. It looks like a really solid card. Same thing with Tavernier, just less um, links, obviously not being the Premier League, but it's still English. Watch this team of the week because it could have interesting movements today on the market and be good to trade with uh, as well. And for the rest of the market that is not in packs, I'm talking road to the knockouts. I'm talking other team of the week cards that are out of packs. Uh, you know, maybe even the ones to watch cards as well. Keep a close eye on some of these that are still very popular meta and usable items that a lot of people like to use in their teams. Ren and Lodi, if there's panic selling on him, today would be something to watch out for uh, on that card, right? Other road to the knockouts, like maybe Hyunmin Sun. Last week, Hyunmin Sun, I bought for 750,000 coins on Friday. 
in the panic selling, there was no Premier League left wing released as a part of Rule Breakers. So of course, people bought this card back as a very rare item. He went from 750K to 840,000 coins where I sold him. And it was a huge, huge after tax profit on that flip. I would watch some of these cards because they're very rare. Watch Robertson today, right? Because if we do get Cornet in the team, that's another Premier League left back. But depending on what stats Cornet gets boosted, and of course, he does not have as good of links as Robertson does, of course, Robertson with the Liverpool links, uh, this could be very interesting. But also, people might try out Cornet because he's probably going to be a lot cheaper than Robertson and he's going to have pace if they give him a nice upgrade. So that's going to be the most interesting part about the market today that I would keep an eye out for. Watch out for these past team of the weekend forms if they do get panic sold. Watch out for like this Phil Foden right? Phil Foden, if he gets a new card today, he's actually up a lot right now. He has 70,000 coins. If he's down like under 60K today, that would be a card I would look at buying because it doesn't look like there's a Prem left wing that is released as a part of this team as we look the players that are in here. And the way they're doing these positions, if Foden gets a special card, it'll be the same position as his base gold item, which is center attacking mid, which is what I think a lot of people would rather have for a Phil Foden anyway. But if you see panic selling on this Phil Foden card or across any part of the market today that is out of packs, that is a meta and usable card, especially ones to watch is right as a lot of these cards are getting very hyped up right now. Uh, as they're getting closer to their wins to watch upgrades, keep a special eye on the ones to watch as, as well um, for those cards to maybe get low, get panic sold, and then potentially bounce back in this game today. So that'll be a very interesting market movement to watch. Icons, as we always talk about icons, there's going to be panic selling on these too. I love trading with icons. On promo Fridays, you're going to see their prices drop off. Uh, we saw that a lot of their prices drop off yesterday. Rio, 750 Now that's a big undercut. That's a really big undercut on Rio, um, as he is at very low at the moment at 750. That's probably not even on the market. But I would watch for panic selling on your icons, and I think there will be rebounds post 6 p.m. UK, like we usually see on some icons. Not all of them, some of them will rise up. The ones that people want to buy for their teams to complete their squads after they add rule breakers uh, into their new team, if they want to try some of those new cards out. Now, one thing I will say is. This new card design was added to the code. Now it's going to look very, very familiar because last year we had cards just like this. If this looks familiar, that's because it should. Last year in FIFA 21, we had cards with this exact same design, Delufeu and Bellerin. These are basically the uh, objective milestone cards. I'm pretty sure they're called. Uh, these could show up, maybe not today. If not today, it would be most likely very soon inside of the objectives section this is something that we haven't had yet this year and it came around this time last year was the cards that were inside of this milestone section right they would drop a league they would drop two or three or four cards underneath a league where you would have like a couple that you would grind for or you just have one main item that you would go through a set of objectives for to get that card so that could be very interesting a couple more objective cards uh, in milestones potentially coming soon as well with that pack code being released. Last thing I want to talk about is trading with the rule breakers in the first hour of the content drop today. Now, last week, there was a lot of fluctuations. Like if you remember the Holland card started off on the market under a million coins, like 960, 970,000 coins. And then after like about an hour or so, people opened their packs and he shot up in price because he was, well, people, I guess, valued him too cheap and he was a very rare card. So he went from about 990K all the way up to 1.1 million coins. Now, a more often and a more common fluctuation with what you see is some of these lower tier cards, right? If you remember as well, when the Onyeka was released on the market last week. Frank Onyeka's card was like 130,000 coins. He went from 115K, 110,000 coins, up to like 130, 140, all in a span of like 15 minutes. Because what happens is everybody opens their FIFA points, everybody opens their saved up packs, and especially if you were to have 100,000 coin packs, in the store today, there's an opportunity for all that supply to come in in the first 10 to 15 minutes. You have an opportunity to buy cards. And then of course, as people open their packs, they get their coins and they're like, okay, I wanna go try out some of these new cards. But you see the ones that people wanna try is the most meta, the most popular. And especially as 
you know, you think about a card like this on Yekka. Yes, you have Conte. Yes, you have Fred. But they're all above 300,000 coins, even the Conte SBC right now. This Onyeka card was 100,000 coins. It looks very similar to Conte. So as the most popular league in this game in the world, the Premier League, a lot of people went out and they bought this card right away to try him out. So that's why he went from 110K to like 130, 140,000 coins. There's probably going to be some cards today in the team. It's obviously we don't know which cards would have the best rise, right? If you remember Road to the Knockouts, when those first came out, Isak had an incredible rise. He went from 110,000 coins all the way up to almost 190K before dropping off a little bit later. Uh, so in that first 15 minutes, first 20 minutes, you can really take a look at some of the brand new Rule Breakers cards today, especially if you're watching the stream. We'll be doing some of this uh, live on the Twitch stream tomorrow. And trading with some of those cards as well, trying to time some of those flips as there'll be many, many windows, in my opinion, to trade with those cards. That kind of depends on the 100K pack supply bill. Even if it's 50Ks, there'll probably be a lot of supply on those and they'll get packed. But especially with knowing the team, again, it's I still think that it kills a little bit of the hype on the promo today. So that's what we were expecting. I've been trading over the last day or so with just chemistry style flips. Again, the Holland that I bought at 525 sold at 600. I bought this Sun at 405. Just, just some flips, right? With a lot of panic selling, you see a lot of opportunities to buy low and sell high. It's going to be the same thing today on Friday with a lot of the market. So hopefully that is a very useful video for you guys. Hopefully we get Rule Breakers Team 2 today and hopefully we get a legit loading screen. Maybe EA is not giving us a loading screen because they've seen all the leaks on Twitter. I don't know, but we thought we had a new loading screen coming and then EA dropped this. They dropped a advertisement for their own Twitch live stream, what they do around the content drop. So I don't know. That was, that was kind of crazy. Uh, but hopefully rule breakers team two today. Hopefully the content is good. SBC, SBCs are priced well and objectives are also a W as well. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.